I had no idea kids are this stupid. I teach seventh grade, they are still performing on the fourth grade level. It would benefit you to watch his entire video because he- So, as somebody who used to be in seventh grade, I can confirm that most people in my seventh grade class couldn't do multiplication. Yeah. Breaks it down about how like, and that's the kids that are doing well. Because I also teach seventh grade and we have kids that have math grade level equivalents of first and second grade. First and second grade, and they're 12 or 13 years old. Uh-oh. Third grade, many at fourth grade, very few at grade level. Very few, uh, if any, in some classes. Yeah. Um, these kids can't read, they can't decode. They have no vocabulary, no background knowledge. I've never seen anything like it. For context, for eight years, I taught um, a self-contained program for significant language-based learning disabilities. Like it was the most restrictive environment. It was the yep. step before being sent to a specialized school. Um, and my... S they had this in my school too. Like all the kids that could speak English, they just put them in special ed. <laughs> they did. They put him in special ed. <laughs> because I would go in there to fix the computers. I was in like the computer repair program. And I would go in there and there'd be like kids that had like legitimate disabilities. And then there'd be other kids that just spoke Spanish. Fifth graders with significant language based learning disabilities could write better than non disabled seventh graders can now. Where, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. And my fifth graders with significant language based learning disabilities could write better than non disabled seventh graders can now. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, how is that even possible? <laughs> How do you be so fucking stupid? It shouldn't be, but it's fu I, I think it's funny. Like, the future is doomed? Well, you have to understand. So, here, let me put this into context. Y'all gonna understand where we at. So, in um, the United States, the main career that people want to have is they want to be a YouTube influencer or a TikTok influencer. In China, the main career that people want to have is an astronaut. They want to be a doctor. So it, this is a hundred percent a cultural problem. It is a hundred fucking percent. They can't write a sentence. They don't know what state they live in. <laughs> Seventh grade. I don't know what state they're in. Oh my god, bro. No, I don't believe that. See, I went to a school with stupid kids. Okay? Wait, you can ask Cody, anybody else that, like, that I went to high school with, they will tell you the same thing. Like, bro, we had people that were in 11th grade. Actually, I had somebody in my geometry class who was 19. 19. Dumb, bro. How old are you in 7th grade? You are 12 or 13. I'm a teacher in, tech, in middle school in Texas, it's true. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. We don't know what region of the country they're in. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I don't know what they are, yeah. They have no background knowledge. Most of them don't know who the president is. <laughs> I don't know what the president, who the fuck, Joe Biden, who the fuck is that? Who what, that old guy? What's he in charge of? Like, going to sleep? Who gives a fuck? I thought Donald Trump was the president. The red hat guy. They're coming to school with no background knowledge. Yeah. They have very low skills. And yes, part of my job is to help them find those skills. Nah, bro, like, they should have had that going into it. In seventh grade, bro, these kids got to go back to fourth grade. They got to go back to fourth grade graduation, get a refund. 
<laughs> like I, the culture and the parents, it's, it's the culture, it's the education system, it's the parents. Here's the truth, right? Is you have a lot of teachers and the teachers get paid dog shit. They don't get paid any fucking money. So guess what? You pay people the minimum, you get the minimum. You get people that are barely putting in effort. Like I have a friend who's a teacher in Texas here and she told me that, bro, she has to have an app to talk to the teachers, or sorry, to talk to the parents. And she has to be able to respond on this fucking app within a matter of like hours, like maybe it's like 30 hours, but it's no more than 72. And so she's gotta be doing this on her off time. She's gotta be doing all this. She gotta be spending extra money for uh, like supplies. It is bad, man. Being a teacher sucks dick and you're not getting paid any fucking money. Too much freedom, no discipline. I think a lack of discipline is definitely a problem, but there are teachers, like uh, we had a teacher, right? And like, so I had friends of mine, we used to, um, we were in geometry class. And one thing that we would do is we would take a little, like for some reason, like the, the fucking student teacher thought it was a good idea to fucking, to, to give us clay. And so obviously, a number of people in the class just threw clay at him every time he turned around, naturally. And so eventually they did that. And this kid would do it, his name was Billy, and he would try to throw clay in the teacher's pocket every time he turned around. And he would also call the teacher, he would say, Mr. I forgot even what his name was, right? Is an F word, right? The homophobic F word. He would say this, and it was like, he would say it in like one syllable. So by the time he turned around, he couldn't see it. He's like, Billy, did you say something? Billy's like, no, I didn't say nothing. So finally, this teacher finally had enough, had enough of Billy. And he called Billy up to the front of the class. And I told this story before, he drew a triangle. And he did this. And he says, solve it, Billy. <laughs> and this is something that we learned on the first day of class, right? We learned this on literally the first day of class. Like Pythagorean theorem, it's geometry. It's like literally the simplest thing. It's not seven. But like, yeah, so he spends like five minutes. Everybody's quiet for like the first half where he's like writing out like three, four, bro. He's like Einstein, right? Like he's like introducing like parentheses. He's like 15, like 13 plus 5B. And he's like trying to figure it out. And like halfway through, like all the kids start laughing at him, right? Everybody starts laughing at him. Teachers laughing at him. <laughs> and then finally the student teacher, you know, he's like, you done? And Bill, he's like, oh, oh no, mister. And the teacher goes to him, he says this, who's the F word now? And he says, you need to start coming in the class early and you need to start paying attention or you're never going to graduate. And this kid sat down. He never caused another problem for the rest of the year. And the funniest fucking thing that happened is that I had multiple classes with him. And the class before him was a history class that was taught by the football coach out in a portable away from the rest of class that all of the students that had problems were in. And so football coach in his 50s in Texas who's teaching history. So that means that this is a, uh, this is a class about World War II because his dad was in World War II. And so that's all we would learn. And there was never a time that Billy ever acted out in that class. Nobody ever acted out in that class. All of the problem boys said yes, sir, and no, sir. And there was never an issue ever. So you're apt, and, and nobody was getting hit. Nobody was getting like, especially with this other guy, right? Nobody was getting anything, right? People were just immediately just listening and doing what they're supposed to do. That's it. How's Billy doing today? Uh, I saw him, he was like waiting at like a rave in like San Marcos whenever I was down there, like maybe uh, like five or so years ago. He seemed okay. Yeah, he's, he's chilling as far as I know. Yeah. And um, some teachers command respect. Yeah, and so, and then, well, well the problem, right, is that 
People in your chat are actually saying the answer is seven. Sure, that's fine. I didn't know Billy was here. So anyway, um, the point is that this happens and uh, the teachers, the point is like you, you have some teachers that will go the extra effort and command that respect and that discipline. And then you also have other people who don't do that and they don't do that at all. And you had, like, how many of you guys had certain teachers that, like, you knew that, like, whenever you got to this class, this was the class that you get to throw paper balls at your friends in? Like, you knew, like, this was the class, right? Like, you, you got to fuck around in this class. And so you have enough classes like that. You have enough years with classes like that. And suddenly you don't know who the president is. That's my point that I'm making with all of this. Is that most teachers... And this is a problem, like, I, I had, like, a again, a computer repair class, and um, in the process of that, I uh, would get a new teacher every year, because any teacher wouldn't work at a school, because they're getting paid literally a fraction of what they would get paid in the private sector. If you had the skills to teach a networking class, you also had the skills to get a six-figure salary. So every time we would just get somebody who was either retired, in between jobs, and nobody would ever, like, we'd never have any consistent teaching. So there'd never be a consistent curriculum at all. It happened every year. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a massive problem. And I think one of the big reasons is because the teachers aren't paid enough money. And as a special education teacher, like, I'm obviously going to be working with students who require specialized instruction, but I'm not talking about specifically my students. I'm talking about students in the grade period. Yep. And this was the case last year. They can't take notes. They can't even attend to a video. They can't was it eight seconds? Or is it like 10 minutes? Because if it's a 10-minute video, nobody's going to watch a 10-minute video. Bro, I just explain it in eight seconds. Yeah, they're, they're, bro, these are kids that are on TikTok. Can't even attend to a three-minute video clip. Oh, it's three minutes, bro. Like, come on, three minutes? Get the fuck out of here. It takes forever. I can play it. I can tell them what it's going to be about. I can summarize what the video did. I, I will say, however, like I literally never took notes in any class ever until I was in college. And not a single one can tell me what the video was about. Directions written on the board, stated by the classroom yeah. teacher, restated by me. All right, who can tell me what we just said? Crickets. Well, because they don't give a fuck. That's why they don't need to give a fuck because they're going to be famous on the internet and they're not going to need to know what country they live in because they're going to be popular. They're going to have a lot of followers on YouTube. They have no listening skills, no reading skills, no writing skills, yep. and no math skills. And like this creator said, I've had them for 30 days. Not even, this is week four. Kids are really stupid. <laughs> they are really stupid. It's scary, man. It really is. Skill issue, to be honest, L teacher. I mean, like, she's not an L teacher, bro. Like, she came in and she just got this right off the rip. Like, these are, like, she had a, like, it's not like this happened at the beginning. They can't take notes. They can't even attend to a video. Directions written on the board. It's... And like this creator said, I've had him for 30 days. Well, good rest of it. Not even. This is week four. <clears throat> I have kids. I Like, I get it. I have kids. They went through the pandemic. And my kids are at very different stages and were at very different stages from each other. I don't think you can blame the whole thing on the pandemic. Obviously, the pandemic made it harder for kids to learn because they're not in school. Like, a hundred fucking percent. But this is not entirely because of the pandemic. During the pandemic, I, my oldest is a freshman in college. They're 17. My middle child is 11. He's in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. He's reading at a 12th grade level. He's doing eighth grade math. My daughter is four. She definitely has self-regulation issues. We're pretty sure that she has traits of autism. Um, I don't know that it's impacting her academically in any way, but it definitely impacts her ability to self-regulate. Um, but, like, she knows her letters, she knows how to spell her name, she knows how to spell words, she's starting to sound out words with me. She knows how to count, she knows how to skip count. Like, my four-year-old can spell and count better than some seventh graders who are not 
students with disabilities. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah, because kids are stupid. That's why. Singular anecdotal evidence and she's a teacher, of course they're going to be above the curve. Well, I, no, I mean, like, it, it, like, I'm not talking about, like, who cares about, like, what her kid is doing, right? This is kind of irrelevant, you know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? But the thing is that uh, a lot of these teachers, uh, it's a curve, yeah, bro, it's a flat line, yeah. Uh, it certainly is. It's crazy how dumb kids are. It's scary. Why do the parents not care? The reason why the parents don't care is because the parents are probably conditioned by the media to either distrust the schools and, uh, you know, like they have like a political reason to not care or they're overworked. Yep. Somebody says the parents are fucking busy. Also, the parents are stupid, too. You know, daddy, what? Where do we live? Do we live in the Midwest? I don't know. Shut the fuck up. Bro, he just got done working for 10 hours. Now he's got to take a quiz. Oh, God. Just stop. Just play with your phone. <laughs> Please stop it. <laughs> Leave me alone. And so uh, it, it's, it's understandable for sure. I mean, to an extent, at least, right? And then you also have the parents that don't know a lot. They're stupid, too. And then it's like you have an apple tree. Well, guess what comes from an apple tree? Well, more apples. And what do apples turn into? <laughs> well, apple trees. <laughs> So, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, stupid apples. And they just keep passing the kids grade mm -hmm. to grade to grade, hoping that it's just going to magically resolve. And parents and also blame the teachers. They always assume that their kid is, the, is gifted. All parents think that their kid is gifted. And any time that the, the kid doesn't perform at least, you know, well, uh, that it's somehow the shortcoming of the school. That's the problem. Gifted with brain damage. Yeah. Yeah, they are gifted. It's just that they're not... That's... There's many kinds of gifts. My question is, parents, where are you? Mm -hmm. I can tell which, stu which students have families that talk to them at home. Yep, I've, I've heard this from teachers on a personal level, too. That it's actually more evident... And, like, obviously I have no experience with this, but this is just something that I've heard the same thing from. So many kids just don't even hear adults Especially with, like, abusive houses. So they don't absorb any background knowledge at all because nobody's talking to them. Yeah. Four weeks I've had these kids. I know it's not my fault. You think a teacher gives a fuck whenever they're paid less than 50k a year? No, they don't. And that's what the problem is. No, they don't. Because, like, you know, for example, whenever I was a kid, bro, like, my mom taught me how to fucking read. You know how she taught me to read? She said, We're, I'm going to get you a complicated video game. I'm going to buy you Secret of Mana. I'm going to buy you King's Quest. I'm going to buy you Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You're seven years old. You can't figure this fucking game out. And I'm going to buy you a strategy guide. And if you can't read it, oh, I guess that's too fucking bad, huh? And so I learned how to read. Yeah, and I remember, like, she would come over, like, she taught all of us, like, little kids, right, about, like, mythology and tons of stuff. Like, not just me, but, like, the other kids in the neighborhood, like, Cody, Jeff, other Cody, Lowell, Zach, uh, all of us. And so, like, it, it's, but, like, it, that's not the norm. I don't think that's the norm at all. Yeah, mom and dad are phone addicts, too. Yeah, there it is. You grew up with Zach and Cody? I did, yeah. Absolutely. Uh... I self-taught reading so I could play Pokemon. Yep. Uh, I literally learned English before school to play video games. Yeah, that's just how it was. Family ignored me, so my only interaction was the world with, with, was books. Parents now uh, just slap their kid in front of their phone. Yep. Your mom was also likely intelligent. Well, no. I mean, she had a college degree. She was very well educated. She was a writer. Uh, it's a massive advantage I had in life, to be honest. Uh, like, my, my dad... Also college educated, uh, had a corporate job, and uh, you know, for pretty much my whole time growing up, uh, obviously parents were divorced, but you know, my dad was still around. Like there were there were things I didn't have, but there were things that I did have, and some of the intangible things that I had were actually very important and very formative, and so I got lucky with that in a lot of regards. So, of course, that's a good thing. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other parents that don't really have that, and that's the problem.
Learned English from the uh, internet, mostly from video games. Yeah, for sure. The issue is uh, that they were educated, but that they understood the power of education. Well, I think that most people that are educated probably understand the power of education. Most people who think that education isn't important probably aren't educated. And that's what I would bet. You're lucky your mom was always invested in your hobbies. Yep, I was. I was very lucky. You're, you are very right.